from KUSA in Denver, this is 9 News, Colorado's news leader, with Ward Lucas, Rosemary Collins, Cliff Nicholson, and Tom Green. 9 News, number one in Colorado. Good evening. Two American servicemen were gunned down in the Philippines today. Communist rebels are thought to be the killers. The soldiers were waiting for a bus near Clark Air Force Base when they were shot in the back of the head at close range. Communist rebels have vowed that they would kill American servicemen the night before talks between the U.S. and the Philippines. And those talks about extending the leases of U.S. military bases in the Philippines begin tomorrow. Following the shootings, all leaves for the 40,000 U.S. troops in the Philippines have been canceled. In Colombia, six children are among the 27 dead after a spree of car bombing Saturday. Two car bombs ripped through a crowded shopping mall in Bogota. The mall was filled with people doing some last-minute Mother's Day shopping. And a third bomb exploded at a restaurant. Authorities say the bombings are part of a war between rival drug traffickers for control of the New York City cocaine market. Nearly 200 people have been killed in the last eight months in bombings in Colombia. Another chemical bottle that exploded is being investigated after four boys, aged 6 to 10, were injured tonight. It happened along the canal on East 16th Avenue in Aurora. Jason Ellis says he and several other boys were throwing bottles they found along the canal when one of them exploded. It looked like a peanut butter jar. Do you know what was inside? It was yellow-like stuff and two rocks. The youngsters suffered minor chemical burns and injuries from the shrapnel. Officers say the chips of glass and rock are going to be difficult to test because everything got mixed with water. But they said it doesn't look like a bottle the boys made. One investigator told Louisa Kraft the chemicals in the bottle were from a lab.